Brennan, obviously, um, not the result you guys wanted, but can you just kind of speak to the effort the defense put in to, to slow that offense down to a point where, I mean, it, teams just have not been able to do that to them. You guys seem like you left every last bit of energy you had on the field. Yeah, I think uh, Coach said it best. It was, you know, they made one more play than us at the end of the day. Um, I, I'm just so proud of my guys, the way we fought today, the energy we brought out there. Um, to hold a high-powered offense like that to, to the last play of the game um, and leave it all to a field goal, I couldn't be more proud of the guys. And it stings, but um, yeah, I, for effort-wise, I can't be I can't be upset at that at all. When, when you guys get into the locker room, obviously you know you, you're obviously one of the leaders. Um, what did you kind of say to the team, or did you say something to the team kind of just uh, after the game? I just said I'm thankful for you know the time I've been here and thankful for every single man in that locker room, whether that be a, a teammate, a coach, a support staff, our media team. Because without those guys, this this ship doesn't sink or this ship doesn't go. So um, I'm just so proud of everybody. Um, I know obviously the result's not what we wanted, but for for a fight out there, I think we gave a fight. You guys, it seemed like you and, and RJ, especially, you really forced Penix off his spots. So maybe didn't get sacks, um, holding or otherwise. But what did you guys feel like you were doing to kind of get underneath their tackles and at least kind of force him out of the pocket and have to throw it away a few times? Uh, I think the biggest thing, well, that was our game plan, was to make him uncomfortable back there. And I think throughout the game, he felt our presence more and more and more. And then and those passes were a little off target, off the marks. And obviously, he's a great player. So it was important that we had to get him get him rattled. Um, and the receivers made some great plays. But I think our DBs played a heck of a game. Um, you know, it, I think it just a a great look into the future, what we have on this defense. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're a great team uh, that we played against. And, like I said, one more one more play than this. On their last fourth down play where they you know, ran a reverse on fourth and short, what were you seeing on that play and kind of what made that effective for them? Um, I mean, it was a great play call. Um, you know, you're thinking fourth and one, sneak, um, that we haven't seen that really from them at all. So, um, yeah, it's a tough one, tough one to swallow. And you know, I think that just goes back to them just making one more play. What do you think you've most about yourself? Um, that uh, I'm resilient. I don't, I don't think uh, anybody would have wanted this season the way to the outcome it was, but I don't think there was ever a play or a game where I didn't give 110% for my guys. And you know, I think to this university that that's how our fans are. You know, 110% regardless of how we're doing, um, regardless of the circumstances. I know there's a ton of uncertainty after this year with the pact hole dissolving, but the Cougs know how to give a fight. And I think that was today's message was that we're going to fight through whatever adversities come our way. sack on one of the last plays of the game. I mean, what was this your mindset playing in a, in a game like this? Like, when, you know, last game for you, um, just, you know, what do you leave, leave out there? Just make an impact. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is just impact every game I'm in. And that's the, that's the whole goal is to, to leave your number in the other team. You know, make sure when they're going back to the film, they're like, okay, what? how do we stop this guy in the future? How do we stop guys like that in the future? Um, and that was a big thing for, you know, me and RJ especially, just make an impact on this game. It was going to be, whether it was going to be our final game or not, we wanted to leave an impact on, on this stadium and the fans in the building and the other team. Um, and, yeah, on the last one, like I said, it, it's a you know, good sack, but, you know, the ball was out there, wanted to make a play, um, and that's one that's going to haunt me for a long time. When you first came to WSU, did you think this school would mean as much to you as you do now to them? Um, I mean, I knew when I came here it was a special place, but I, I mean, nobody, and even myself, family-wise, would would expect the impact that I've had on this school. Um, and I'm just so thankful for the opportunities I've had um, to to really leave my mark on this place. And I'm forever indebted to the, to the Cougs. Um, I'm always gonna find my way back home. I'm always gonna be around supporting the next generations of Cougs. And um, yeah, it's it's been an absolute blessing. I can only thank God and my family and everybody who's had a part in bringing me here for this opportunity, and this journey it's been. I think it'll always continue. Um, you know, we're we're Washington State and they're Washington, so there's always going to be an in-state rivalry there, regardless of conferences. I think it's important to understand that there's a lot of tradition in this game, um, and regardless of, you know, where conferences we're going to lie or end up in the future, where teams are going to sort out. Like in-state rivalries run, you know, college football rivalries run this this business, and I think it's so important to continue to to have a rivalry like this because it's it's entertainment and it, it brings people together, even though. There's fans from the, you know, from Washington. There are people tailgating with Coug fans, you know. So it, this really brings everybody together, and I think it's so important to, to keep this tradition going. Last one for Brennan. Player retention is obviously going to be a huge question moving forward. You've spent a ton of time in Pullman. What would your message be to potential former Cougs on making that decision? 
I think it's all about commitment. Your word is everything. And when you commit somewhere, it's, it's a lifelong commitment. I know me and RJ made a lifelong commitment to this place, and we can't thank this place enough for what it's given us and all the opportunities that have been present, present themselves here. And uh, I think when these high schoolers, these transfers, when they, when they make that commitment, it's got to be solid.